Hey, what's up everybody? How to Tech here. I've got this brand new iPhone 6S and I thought let's take out the charge port and see how that works, huh? So we're gonna need a couple tools to do this. A pen to lobe screwdriver, a small Phillips screwdriver, either double or triple O, a nylon spudger, a possibly a couple guitar picks to help us out, and a suction cup. This is a tile suction cup because this thing's got some adhesive holding the screen down this time. So we may need something a little bit bigger to pull it off. Uh, you can probably get it off with a regular size suction cup. Tile suction cup just gives you a little bit more leverage. We're gonna go ahead and power the phone off. Let's take these two pentalope screws out of the bottom of the phone here. One more to go on the opposite side of the charge port here. All right, the next step is to go ahead and pull the screen up. Now this is uh, slightly trickier than it used to be. Uh, so we can take our suction cup. I'm going to go ahead and get a nice solid sill on here. And we're going to pull back. We're going to use a pretty decent amount of force here. Not enough to crack the screen, but enough to slightly put our spudger in here and wiggle it back and forth. It's got about a, uh, I'd say maybe a millimeter's worth of adhesive all the way around the exterior of the screen on this phone. So we're going to take our spudger and just move it back and forth and try to separate that adhesive so we can pull the screen up. You can use a guitar pick in here. The spudger works the best, uh, but we can try to sneak a guitar pick all the way around as well. Now, we're not trying to shove this in here very far. Like I was saying, it's only about maybe a millimeter, half a millimeter around the entire side of the phone. All four corners have a little bit thicker piece of tape on it, uh, something to be aware of. So you may have to slide it a little bit further there, but once you get it started, it's a little bit easier. Now, it also does have the same uh, kind of metal frame stands that you saw on the 6. Uh, so be careful as you're sliding your pick around. You might hit one of those. You don't want to force it too hard. You don't want to bend those. Um, so we're just going to basically pull it up a little bit and keep going around the display. Be nice and gentle. Now that we have it pulled up, we can go ahead and remove the suction cup. work our way down the sides use our nylon spudger again here slide it down the side of the phone now we've got some good progress happening work our way down the opposite side a little bit thicker on this side it seems there we go try a little bit more a little piece right here in the middle that's still kind of hanging on now with that done we can wiggle it back and forth a little bit remember it's got some uh, cutouts to kind of hold the top in place so you may have to wiggle it back and forth before you pull the screen straight out like a book you want it to uh, crack or anything so a little piece of adhesive here we're just going to push off all right now to do this repair i would suggest taking your screen off it's not that difficult save you a lot of hassle when it comes to removing uh, the charge port itself so we're going to do that next and to do that we're going to take off these four screws holding on the silver metal plate where my left index finger is at i'm just going to go ahead and pop all four screws out now a warning is is that when you remove the screws out of the interior of this phone make sure you know exactly what screw hole they went back into. You can't just put all these back in the same place. They're not the same size, they're not the same diameter, so you want to make sure that you don't mix these up. If you put in the wrong screw in the wrong spot, you can damage your board, damage your phone. So, I've got our second screw out, two more to go, the one to the right of the battery, then the one right above the battery. With both all four of those screws out, we can go ahead and pull the little shield up with our nylon spudger, and that will reveal the three pop-on connectors uh, that we need to remove. So there are three of these, one to the right-hand side, one that you can see kind of flat towards the bottom, and one underneath the horizontal one here. So we're going to pop this one up here off. And this pulls right up like a, a snap button. It got a, seems like they have a little bit of adhesive uh, kind of holding them in place. So be aware of that as you're pulling them up. They don't seem to pop off as easy as the regular six. Now if those three removed, we can go ahead and pull the screen off. 
Still probably a little bit of adhesive here across the top, so you might want to slide it downwards first before trying to unconnect the screen. Perfect. Go ahead and set that aside. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the charge port on this thing. So we can see that there's a metal shield over the battery connector and the ribbon cable that's holding the uh, speaker charge port cable on. So we're going to undo both of these screws. And we'll go ahead and pull the shield off of the charge port. Use our spudger and just kind of pull that up. I'm going to zoom in to give us a better view of what is going on here. Pull that off. Now you can see that we have our three connectors actually. We have our two ribbon cable connectors and then uh, one snap-on connector. It looks like probably for the Wi-Fi or some sort of an antenna connector. Pop off the battery connector. We have our little tactile module here as well that we can remove. So it's just two screws and one on either side. You'll see the right side of the module has uh, some connectors that hit onto the all-in-one cable, if you will, that holds the 3.5mm headphone, the microphones, and all sorts of stuff on there. So once we get that pulled up, you can see the two connectors right here where this touches. We need to put that back in correctly when we reassemble the phone. Now with that done, we can go ahead and work on removing the loudspeaker. There's one screw up here in the right-hand corner behind the ribbon cable. And one to the left here that holds the wire cables in their places. Let's see if I can get this thing to pop out for us. There we go. And the focus on the stupid camera is just not working out for me. I'm going to have to pull it back just a little bit. Make it a little less grainy as well. We have one screw down here in the bottom right hand corner. It's holding this loudspeaker in place. There we go. That's a little bit better focus for us. All right, so we can go ahead and peel back this adhesive connection here. It's on top of the loudspeaker. There's one additional screw underneath the adhesive to the left. It took me a second to realize where that one was at. So let's pop off the little antenna connector here at the top first. Using a sharp tool, you can try to use a nylon spudger. I had a little trouble getting it into it. It's a pretty tight space to get this thing to pop off for us. Just trying to be gentle so we don't damage it. I'm going to remove it. All right, there we go. There's a cable underneath it. We can actually leave that one where it's at for now. Don't stress it too much. We can pull the speaker out with it still connected. We'll go ahead and peel back this adhesive down here at the bottom, and that will reveal the fourth screw holding our loudspeaker in. See, it's hidden here. And we need to take off the charge port connection just to the left of it as well. We can pull the loudspeaker out. So remember don't forget to take off the panel screw that's to the left of the loudspeaker. I left that part out of the video. We got that out. We can go ahead and set it aside. All right. With that done, we can remove all of these. So we already removed the one charge port screw. We only have about a thousand more to go. Just kidding. We have, looks like five, eight more to go. So 
Uh, as I was saying before, these have to go back in their specific spots, so make sure you do not mix them up. And especially these little tiny ones right here at the front, they're easy to lose. So just make sure that you're using something pretty easy to hold them. All right, we're getting pretty close. Last screw here for the charge port. Then we have three more screws for the three and a half millimeter headphone jack here. This one right here has a little grommet. So you want to double check the way that it's in there before you remove it. Uh, if you watch the reassembly, I can show you how it goes in exactly. There's a little pin that it sits on top of, a little standoff down there. So it fits in just like so. So the three holes facing upwards with the uh, thinner side to the right. Two more screws to take out of this. And we can pull the cable out. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and start up here on the right hand side and pull the cable upwards. You can use a spudger to pull it up. You want to make sure you do not rip this. This cable will rip if you don't pull up all the corners before you start pulling up in the middle. Something to be aware of. Once you get it started up here pretty solid, you can go ahead and work it down and just pull it up with your fingers. And be careful when it hits the flat spot down here as well. You don't want to rip the corner. So you may have to use your spudger to get underneath it again. And it's going to pull up here towards the bottom. Try to loosen up the adhesive. There's adhesive that's holding in uh, the 3.5mm headphone jack and the microphones. There's two microphones on here as well as the charge port has a little bit of adhesive on it. So you may want to loosen those up a little bit before you start trying to pull this cable just right out. Now it may look like I'm being extremely rough but I'm just wiggling slightly back and forth. Just trying to loosen that adhesive up. And the headphone jack here is pretty tricky. The microphone next to it has solid adhesive on it as well. It does take a little bit of time to work that thing free. But just be patient and keep wiggling it back and forth. And make sure you pull the microphone off its slot. And you should be able to pull the cable just right out. Now like I was saying, if you want to watch the reassembly of this, I'll throw that link down in the description of this video. If you want to watch any other disassembly videos in the future, go ahead and subscribe to me. Or if you have a 6S Plus, I have videos for that as well. Perfect. Now there we go. We went ahead and got it free. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw them down in the comments and I'll do my best to get to them. And as always, I appreciate you watching. And I hope to catch you on the next one.